Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, how are you? Kaise hai sabhi? Uh, today I am going to explain on the topic jet streams. So beside the lower level wind, there are upper level wind which blow above the troposphere. The, so the troposphere level which blow above 6 to 7 kilometer from the surface and attain greater velocity uh, at higher level, these are the jet streams. Jet streams are uh, attain at a very higher level velocity. Velocity means the speed of the wind. Okay. So, uh, this wind blow up to a height of uh, 12, to 8, uh, 12 to 16 kilometer within the troposphere and uh, the areas over which they blow very la latitudinally with season with a height of 12 to 13 kilometer upper level winds, upper level winds that is the uh, that level is 12 to 13 kilometer at a height that is 12 to 13 kilometer. At 12 to 13 km, the upper level wind attains speed exceeding 180 km per hour. So, it's this, it's, uh, in per hour, its uh, distance is 180 km. Okay? Uh, they are of two types, westerly jet streams winds and the easterly jet stream winds. So, now we need to know the, the direction of westerly jet streams wind and the uh, easterly jet streams winds. The uh, westerly jet streams winds blow from west to east direction at a high of 12 kilometer and the easterly winds blow from uh, 13 kilometer and it is from east to west direction. So, these are the wind which are uh, jet streams the two parts. Okay. Then another one is the position of this jet stream changes seasonally. Um, the position of the jet stream changes seasonally. They not remain in a constant place. Their direction changes with the speed uh, with the velocity of the winds. Then the, the axis of the westerly jet stream this along the southern slope of the Himalaya in winter and uh, the but with the advent of the southwest monsoon it shifts north and remain uh, and remain uh, and remain this during this season. Uh, also in Himalayan region these jet streams flow in their direction. Then this uh, easterly jet streams blow to the south of 25 degree parallel, uh, 25 degree parallel during the southwest monsoon. Then what happened uh, in June it blows over the southern part of the peninsula. In June their direction is to the southern part of the peninsula and then again uh, what happened during the southeast monsoon. In June it blows over the southern part of the peninsula and it has a maximum speed of 19 kilometer. When it blows to the southern east of peninsula their speed is 18, 80 kilo, 90 kilometer per hour. So, its uh, speed is very uh, destructive. Then what happened in August it is confirmed to 15 degree parallel, uh, 15 degree parallel and in September up to 20 degree north parallel. The easterlies uh, normally do not extend to the north of 30 degree north parallel in upper troposphere. Then what happened the axis of jet streams shift, the axis of jet streams shift northward and uh, and the southward in different times of the season and their speed velocity increase with the with that of the season. Then the upper air trough in the subtropical westerlies that move eastward over uh, north India during the winter month and known as western, uh, western disturbances. So, there are jet streams, westerly wind, easterly winds, then the western disturbances. These are one of the important topic about the jet streams. Then again, the western disturbances move across North India over in the hot weather season. Then, then they are associated with violent dust storm over Pakistan and northeast wind. So, in the Pakistan region, violent dust are there during the jet streams region. Then thunderstorm the most common factor in the front of tropical storms and are always associated with associated with unstable and very strong. So these are very destructive in nature. So all this about the jet stream. So thank you so much. Take care and bye bye and please subscribe to my channel.